So I'm on Charong Kung Soy 32, and this soy is brilliant if you love street art. Now, thanks to the Buck Ruck 2016 Street Art Festival, uh, there's a lot of places around the Bun Ruck area which uh, the, the BMA allowed a lot of street art to occur. So this is one such soy that's really benefited from that festival. Uh, now you've got some fantastic pieces. This here is a street artist named Pai. She's quite popular in Thailand. So I really love the striking colours and the, and the expression on the face there. And look at the bullets up in the corner there as well. Now this one here is Bonus TMC. Also another very famous uh, Thai street artist. So keep an eye out for bonus, bonus TMC, bonus TMC, um, and in particular these, uh, these sort of kind of tiger, uh, big cat. There's another one actually, kind of a matching one at the end of the story, so I'll show you that in a moment. Both sides of this soy is loaded with really cool street art. Actually, a lot of very different different types of street art as well. You look at these ghost-like figures here by Colt. And I like it here with the uh, blending in with the nat nat uh, natural kind of uh, environment here with the tuk-tuk. They're really beautiful. Like really, I really like this kind of art. Actually, sometimes it looks better. Sometimes these pictures, these look better in pictures rather than in real life. And this is actually one because in real life this it's quite faded. But looking on the um, monitor here, is actually I can see there's a bit more contrast. So it's kind of got the, maybe perhaps the benefit of being uh, uh, on camera. Now I love this piece here by Alex Face. Now Alex Face is a really popular Thai artist. So this is one of the more minimalistic versions of, of Adam Face. But you can see these the recognizable eyes and the tongue and the nose. And I'll show you one of the other Alex Faces uh, just down, down the soil a little bit further. So as I mentioned, there's loads of street art around this soy. But here also is one of the Thai's most, Thailand's most famous uh, street artist, Alex Face. So when you're cruising around uh, Bangkok and the Ban Rak area, keep an eye out for Alex Face's uh, street art. There's plenty of it around. And this one is one of the famous with the, th the, th the three eyes. His three eye. And I love these colors here. And I think there's a big storm coming as well. I better get to the Bangkokian Museum. Oh, and up here, there's another, another bonus TMC. I really like this one. This is one of my most favorites in this whole soy. And again, this one was done in 2016 as part of that street art festival. But yeah, it's a really, really cool soy. If you get the chance, you've got to come down here. It's just beside Warehouse 30. Uh, so it's very easy to find. Anyway, let's get to the Bangkokian Museum before I get hit by the rain. While I'm cruising down this soy, I've just been trying to work out where this this name Ban Rak, this district, uh, where the name came from. So I've just looked it up and I've read this. So Bang, Bang is a word that is actually um, 
it's a it's a it's a, it's a word that gets used a lot in Thailand, Bangkok, Bang Na, uh, Bang Kapi, and it the word Bang actually means access to water. So this Manrak area here is actually right next to the Chow Prayer River. So that's that kind of makes sense with the Bang word. But Rak, what does that uh, what does that word uh, where does that word come from? Uh, now there's one theory here that the word is derived from the Rak tree. So the rock tree is the is a, is a large trunk tree which can be a large trunk tree which can be found in this area. Uh, there's another idea that the word rock actually comes from the word heel. Now back in the earlier colonial period, uh, this is where some of the first medical facilities actually appeared. So there is the theory that the word rock actually came. Uh, has has origins in the word heel, but today um, today it's actually quite common. The word rak means love as well. Um, so pom rakun, I love you. Uh, so coincidentally, well, th th this area is actually a lot of uh, a very considered to be a romantic place, and a lot of people actually get married or sign the, the marriage registry in the Bun Rak district, in particular on Valentine's Day. So a very romantic area this is. Now this Bun Rock area, uh, it's quite a famous neighborhood. So I'm gonna the next couple of videos and I've already done a few which is focusing on the Bun Rock area. If you watch some of my previous videos, I was focused more on the Sampan Tuong area which is the Chinatown. But now I'm gonna do a bit more of a deep dive in the Bun Rock area. Now Bun Rock area is quite famous for the ma major roads which are Silom and Saton which are roads that go away from the river and they're actually kind of more recent additions. Uh, but the historic addition to this area was Charong Krung Road, which was actually uh, one of the first actual roads built, which runs parallel to the Chow Praya River. Uh, so, actually, actually, uh, actually, you know what, this rain is coming, I'm gonna get out of here.